Activating fast. Locate their uplink stations and download their intel before they send them out. Got another. A while back, I made a video on the KV broadside slugs in Warzone 2 and why I thought they were so damn good and why you needed to use them. Well, we're going to revisit that today because I have finally perfected the build in a way that works for me and I need you guys to try it out because this thing is absurd and the time to kill potential is easily making this thing one of the most underrated and slept on things that you can possibly use in Warzone 2. You may think I'm hyping it up a bit, but it is. Trust me, when it comes to pure time to kill, Kill, this thing is absolutely out of this world and just insane in so many ways. So with today's video, we're going to go over the stats for this and I'll show you guys why it's so scary and why you should be using this thing. And then we're going to go over my new and improved class setup for you guys to try. So stick around guys, you're about to see some awesome stuff. So let's just get into it. So here we are on the lovely sim.gg as always and I'll try not to go over this stuff taking too long because I don't want to be looking at a bunch of numbers all the time. But basically, we have slugs and the dash bolt on this thing right now. As you can see for the damage profile this thing is insane with the damage so up close you can see 130 chest 162 for the head so essentially what that means is up close out to 5.8 meters with no attachments all you need is two chest shots to get a two shot kill with this thing or one headshot and one body shot when mixed in and that will give you a two shot kill out to 5.8 meters now past that you can see the headshots still do enough damage to do a two shot headshot which is absurd out to 16 meters again that's just really incredible but normal Normally, it's going to take about three shots if you can hit your shots well because it takes about three chest shots to get a kill or one headshot two body shots somewhere as long as you don't hit legs so that's a three shot kill out to 16 meters if you have the aim for it which with my new build will hopefully be pretty possible so what i wanted to do was take two of the most popular smgs the lockman sub and the vaznev and show you guys a time to kill comparison with chest shots as you can see this orange line right here that is the broadside and just take a look at this out to 5.8 238 milliseconds compared to 539 and 525 that is absurd that is insane of course that's if you're hitting chest shots if you hit stomach you're going to notice the gun really doesn't perform as well and that's no chest shots mixed in or anything but chest shots and above this is a monster so as you can see out from about that 5.8 or 6 to about 16 meters this thing still outperforms the other guns with chest shots. As you can see, 476 compared to the others, which is basically 200 milliseconds less. And again, that's with about three shots, which is normally what it'll take in this range, as long as you're hitting your shots well. And then as you can see, it even gets better. The other guns still take longer at these further ranges. This is really a marksman rifle type of gun. You don't want to be hitting stomach shots or leg shots. You really got to hit your shots well, which is a little bit more difficult. It's not super easy to use, but it is easier with the build. I'll show you and it is just it's insane but if you take a look at headshots look at that 238 milliseconds out to 16 meters that's absurd this is insane I've said absurd so many times take a shot every time I say that word so here is the new and improved slug build for the KV broadside and my god this thing is awesome the big thing to note here is that seven milliwatt canted laser I swear by this thing now I used to be kind of a little off about it but now I really enjoy it and one of the reasons is because this gun has quite a bit of recoil, especially when you use that dash bolt to get a better fire rate. But with this, you don't actually aim down sight, so it's much more manageable to control that recoil. And your, your sight picture is a lot more feasible. It's just a lot more manageable than having a big thing in your face and then the recoil kicking up so high. So I really love this build, and I love, I love the canted laser on this thing. It is so good. Plus, you get the added benefits of a little bit better aim at sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Now, the other thing is I took off the choke. Now, this is usually a no-no for me with slugs but because of the nature of this type of gun it's more spammy i figured it was okay with this particular gun and because it's more aggressive i'm going to be up in people's faces so i don't need to focus on that range as much if you do notice it is a little wonky you can swap that out for this true tack grip now the true tack grip i'm using because it gives a sprint to fire speed and aimed out sight speed now you can rock one of these stocks like the marquee or the Autrazat stock but honestly they give you about the same aimed out sight speed benefit with no sprint to fire speed benefit but even though this grip hurts your recoil control, these other ones, I don't fancy them as much. They just don't do it for me nearly as much. I really like this one overall, just for more aggressive playing. In terms of the tuning for it, there you go. Don't get super bogged down with the tunings. In a lot of ways, tuning just isn't really worth obsessing over in a lot of ways. So just know which direction you want to go and go for it. Don't obsess over it too much. And of course, we have slugs on it. And I'm also rocking the 12 shell mag. 
I really found this to be the best way to go because eight is a little too small for trios and quads, but 12 is totally manageable considering it's a two to three shot kill generally up close. So this is my new and improved build and I swear by it. Now it's at this point in the video where I'd like to point out there is also explosive slugs, but generally I don't use them because they have a little bit more kind of random deviation to how they function and they generally feel a lot more inconsistent because they're just kind of, they feel like they have a mind of their own a lot more compared to normal slugs. So normal slugs are totally okay. If you want to get a little bit crazy, use explosive slugs and you'll be surprised because they have a lot more range than normal slugs. So that two shot kill is going to be even further out. It's ridiculous in a lot of ways, but slugs are generally the best, most kind of middle ground ground way to go in my opinion for this build so when it comes to my overall thoughts on this build and slugs on this gun in general they're crazy and you guys have to try them and with the seven milliwatt canted laser to me that's just the cherry on top that's what makes this build so much better because the recoil on this thing normally using a sight using that dash bolt faster fire rate bolt makes this thing really hard to control and really hard to hit your shots well you got to pace them but with the canon laser it makes it so much easier just to spam away and get those two shot kills up close i mean you can even hit fire this thing at like point blank range and still get a two shot kill it's just ridiculous how good this thing is but of course, it's not as forgiving as something like a Lockman or a Vazinev. So it may not be the most quote unquote meta thing for CQB, but a lot of good players, if they use this, they're probably going to think it's broken. They're probably going to think it's just way too strong. And to be fair, the time to kill is such an outlier. I could see this thing eventually catching a nerf because of that time to kill outlier. It's just so strong. But in my opinion, it's pretty unforgiving. You gotta have some skill to use it. So whether or not it needs a nerf is kind of up in the air in my opinion. We'll just have to see when the general populace starts using a gun like this to see what happens because people with shotguns, they tend to just shut their brain off and say it's a shotgun, it takes no skill. So anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys i hope you guys try this build i really really hope you do and i hope you guys let me know what you think of it because it is magical and so let me know down below in the comments what do you think of this build are you gonna give it a try have you used it before is it one of your new favorites and with all that being said guys i will see you in the next shotgun video